Hello everyone. This video is about creating a screenshot to actually use in Excel. The first method you can use is the snipping tool. So you can just type SN and the snipping tool pops up here. I can select it and I can create a new snip. And then I can make my selections. So for example, I want to select this data. And I make a selection wrong on purpose. I can uh, now copy it, so Control c and I can paste it where I need it. Now, suppose I want to change this. I can resize it to my liking, and if I need to take out some of it, I can go to the format, because this is a picture, and I can hit crop, and I have these handles, so I can adjust it how I need it. Once I'm done, I can simply hit crop. Another method you can use instead of going to the snipping tool would be to use a combination of keys. And that would be the shift key, the windows key, the one in the flag, and the S for snip at the same time. So windows shift S. And then you can just make your selection. And then you would paste it. So we can use Control V to paste it. Okay, so that's the second method. And there is a third way right within Excel. All you have to do is go to the Insert tab, and then you have the Screenshot option. And you can have the available window, but I do not want the entire window, so I can go to Screen Clipping. Now, if you click on this, what happens? It will just go to another window you have open. So let's say if you go there, it just opens my penguins. Okay, that's not what I want. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to push Alt-Tab to go back. And I'm going to try again. So I go to the Insert, Screenshot, and then Screen Clipping. And this time, I would be careful to actually use Alt-Tab to switch quickly between windows. And a good idea is to just close unnecessary windows, okay? So let's give it a try. I go Screen Clipping. Penguins, Alt-Tab, now I'm in Excel. And all I have to do is just make my selection. So I'm going to make my selection. And that's it. Okay. I can play with it how I want. I can resize it. I can crop it and so on. And that basically concludes how to create a screenshot using the snipping tool or just using the screenshot option in Excel.